going live. Hey everybody, it's Brian McDonald with Inspections Estimate Supplements here on uh, live Facebook and YouTube. How you doing? Um, today is April 25th, 2019. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about who here thinks supplementing ROI after the repairs are completed are worth waiting one to 12 months to get approved and get your money. Now I'd love to have a, a uh, Q&A on this live feed today. So if anybody out there has any questions, um, please leave a comment on there. I'd love to uh, answer them and to have a discussion with you about uh, supplementing, if it's worth it, waiting for you, uh, to getting your money anywhere between one and 12 months after the repairs are done. Uh, so let's talk about it. I'm here. Uh, <clears throat> got my notes. And what I want to discuss is a couple of points about supplementing. One, it's limited to how many photos you get to the supplementing department or uh, the uh, outsourced company that does the supplementing for you. Uh, so if the guys that are working for you don't get an, a good enough photos um, of the damage and enough photos, the supplementing department or the supplementing firm or the company that you outsource to is limited to how many items they can get approved from the insurance company. Now, <clears throat> another thing, supplements only average anywhere between 20% to 40% on average, a maximum amount of uh, approved claim amount. Now, is that even worth waiting one to 12 months after the repairs are done? I don't think so. Um, I know when I was working for a, a company that uh, sold roofs for insurance work, I was, I was mad to know that uh, I couldn't get all my commission paid to me until the supplementing department had gotten their supplements approved uh, from the adjuster. And that was about three or four years ago. So that's how I got started in what I do now as an expert damage consultant uh, working for contractors. And uh, another point, let's see. You lose, I love this one, you lose all leverage supplementing after the repairs. So when you are talking to the adjuster about what you think that you should get approved on that claim, if you've already done the, the repairs, man, uh, they could give two, two craps about uh, giving you that approval because you've already done the work. So they're going to make you wait. Uh, the adjuster has so many other claims to, uh, to work on, they're going to put you on the back burner uh, to getting a, what you want approved, uh, paid for. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, it's so much better to have all the leverage before the, the repairs are done. So what I mean by that is when we help our clients, we uh, uh, get all of the uh, insurance gains approved before you do the repairs. So the homeowner and you, the contractor and me have all the leverage, 100% leverage in our favor uh, against the uh, uh, insurance company. Uh, so 